just um, getting ready to go out to the doctors. Um, I'm uh, going to drop by the public library on my way there and get as much stuff as I can on Sharon. There's just his works there. There's no biography, which is what I was looking for. Uh, but I've got biography off YouTube in Romanian um, and uh, a um, uh, you know the stuff that's available online. Uh, but I would like a more exhaustive biography, and I'll see if I can locate one. Um, there's a reason for this. Um, Charon looks like he might be of great interest to me, um, because he's not negative in the way that I've seen a lot of the other pessimistic philosophers. He's negative in an interesting kind of way, um, in a way that, I, that fascinates me. Um, I may be completely misreading him, and I tend to sort of intuit my way into philosophy. Like him, I think I can't stand the idea of philosophy as a discipline, but I'm utterly fascinated about what does all this mean? <laughs> um, what is it? <laughs> uh, and he seems to really ruminate on that in a way that you know strikes a note with me. Now, <clears throat> the interesting thing about it is, of course, is that I sort of know in advance that I may, or I probably disagree with his conclusions on this, but that's not going to take away from my interest in him at all. Uh, I disagree with the Buddha on a number of things. I'm not a Buddhist. I'm certainly not a Jain, but look at the nickname that I've chosen for myself um, on uh, on YouTube here. I, you know, just because I strongly disagree with somebody doesn't think that I, doesn't mean that I don't think that their philosophy has enormous value. Um, <clears throat> Charon being uh, loosely uh, <laughs> described as a life denier um, that doesn't really take away from his philosophy and my view of things simply because that's a, that's a point of view like any other that was kind of the purpose of the rambling video yesterday was to sort of say that two opposite things can be correct in my world view <laughs> so because I disagree with the conclusions, say, of a, of a life denier like Choran, assuming that that's an apt title, or an apt description of him, uh, doesn't mean that I think that he's wrong, let alone that I think that his philosophy is to be avoided. Um, so I want to get a hold of his biography because I tend to come at philosophers or new ideas sort of laterally, or I don't know how to put it, um, <clears throat> kind of with a wide net. I want to find out all the stuff that they deal in. I'd like to see, you know, sort of a, um, a sort of a summary of their major points, their major themes, and then go at all those themes at once. I tend to not explain my point of view that way, but when I'm assimilating somebody's point of view, um, I tend to want to do it that way. I want to know everything at once in a small amount and then go from there. I can't sort of say, okay, Nietzsche thought this on this issue and then I delve into that and I conquer that area. And then I go to the next thing and then the next thing and then the next thing. I'm not methodical like that. It, it eventually ends up being methodical at the end of the day because I end up studying everything exhaustively, more or less, by my standards. And <clears throat> But it, it tends to look from the outside as though I'm going at everything sort of hell mel crazy um, but some philosophers are better approached that way Nietzsche being the obvious example of that his ideas seem to be so disjointed when you come at them at the beginning um, that I think that a lot of people just sort of go Nietzsche you know he just doesn't make any sense um, whereas to me he made immediate sense and I've sort of pieced everything together before I even understood what he had to say, simply because that's the way my mind works. There's all kinds of stuff that, you know, like everybody's philosophy of life, I think, is haphazard in a certain way, and I don't really mind if Nietzsche comes across looking haphazard. And I hate to say this, but Charon looks haphazard from my brief, or he looks like he could be perceived as haphazard, <laughs> the same way that Nietzsche does. Um, in that um, there's a lot of sort of seemingly disjointed ideas that probably knit together very nicely 
once you sort of it clicks in your head and part of that I think is me wanting to get to know the man himself um, in this case I think that his actual personality and his life is important uh, I don't think that about Nietzsche, but I don't want to, you know, I'll, I'll discuss that elsewhere. But I think that, I, I, and I don't think I'm ad homing him again. I'm not, I'm not sort of saying that, well, because you lived through, you know, <clears throat> Hitler and Stalin and you did things that may have compromised yourself morally, even in your own eyes, um, you may have actually been influenced by that and that in turn could have influenced your philosophy. I don't really see that as as big of an ad hom as some someone might think, because I'm a product of my environment to a certain extent. Um, I live a completely weird life that not a great deal of people have the capacity or the desire to, 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 to follow, and this life has shaped me. Um, I live the most ordinary, boring domestic life imaginable here at home, but almost whenever I feel like it, I can drop everything and go to the ends of the earth to see things. Um, that's got to have an effect on me. That's got to shape me somehow. That's got to... Um, it's a unique, or I wouldn't say unique, but very rare set of circumstances that have to have something... have to have some effect on you. It's like I spent half of my life in the Shire and half the, the other half wandering around Middle Earth doing all kinds of out of the ordinary things I guess um, but you know I still go back to the Shire every time that it's time for me to go home um, <clears throat> and you know that has to have had an effect on me that has to have somehow implicated me in this life affirmation thing that I seem to have fallen into um, you know you, I don't think that I don't think that, that it's I, I'm insulting myself by emphasizing that. Um, also the fact that I had a major depression quite early in my life. That had to have affected me. Uh, it it had to have been a watershed. There's no other way to look at things like that. So if I want to know what, what shaped uh, Charan's worldview, I don't think that I'm out of line by wanting to know about, know about the man and find out exactly what the source of all this is. Um, because it's it is relevant if you ask me in that way, especially when you're when you're going when you're trying to learn about somebody that you disagree with, because you sort of think, okay, this guy is not insane; he has perfectly good reasons for believing something that I completely oppose. What are those circumstances? This is a debate that's taken place in India since Indian philosophy existed. It's between the renunciant and the embracing kind of thing between those who want to escape the horrible wheel, or at least the onerous wheel of existence, and those who wish to understand what the wheel of existence actually is, and get the most they can out of it. Um, it's not really a mutually exclusive kind of thing. Uh, there are plenty of people who say in, in Indian philosophy that, you know, life denial is stupid, and the, only, the reasonable thing to do is to say, look at this neat playground we live in, let's play. Other people say, it's just a bloody playground. Uh, haven't you grown out of that yet? Um, you know, the the deniers and the affirmers, you know, they backbite each, each other as much in Hinduism as anywhere else. But by and large, I think that they each side does more or less say that I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping to do with uh, Charan, and I hope that I can get a hold of a decent biography of him written by a you know, good enough author, even in translation. Translation is getting pretty good these days. Certain things you can't translate all that well, but I think that Choran wouldn't be that difficult. So I'm sorry if this is a bit of a blip in the map, but um, I want to find out about him now. <laughs>